Hello, my name is Jesper Nissen, and in this video I will show you how to integrate your Oracle Cloud account to Yax. All right, so I am logged in. I have created my Oracle Cloud account, and I am logged in. And I'll just jump over to Yax first because I need to show you something. Uh, I've clicked on connectivity. And when I click on Oracle here and click on Add New, you will see that I need four fields instead of only two fields. I need the namespace, the region, the key, and the secret key. So uh, no need to worry. I will show you everything you need to know. So uh, let me just uh, let me open a notepad because this is what I need. So let me start out first by fetching the namespace. So you get to the namespace by click on the user profile, click on tenancy, and click on tenancy information. So I click on the user profile, click on tenancy, and inside of the tenancy information, we have the namespace for my account is this here. So the next thing we need is the region. And the region is found by clicking on the region name up here in the upper right corner. Click on manage regions. And you can see that the region identifier for my account is US Ashburn one. So I copy. And then I need to click on, and then I need to get the key and the secret key. So I click on the profile up here click on my profile, scroll down, click on <coughs> customer secret keys. You can see it says customer secret keys here. So I click on the blue button here, generate secret key. And I call it yes plus secret key, generate secret key. Now it has generated a key and I click show and I click copy. Oops. And uh, then I can close. So now I have one secret key and, um, and, the, and the access key also. So I need to copy the access key. So I just hover over this guy here and click copy. And now I have the access key also. So I have the, uh, the namespace, the region identifier, the secret key and the access key. So now we need to jump over to Yax. So the special thing about Oracle is that uh, when you create a secret key, so like I just created, I just created a secret key. You cannot see it, but it takes some time. It takes some seconds or minutes. I don't know how long it takes before the secret key is activated. So you might, con you might run into an error, even though you did everything correct, you might run into an error by when you're setting up Oracle that the region doesn't exist or something like that. <clears throat> and this is only because uh, after you have clicked create, you know, generate the secret key, it takes a little while before the key is actually activated. And this is nowhere to be seen. You cannot see this anywhere. It's all, it's all, this is only based on my experience. So I'm just telling you that if you encounter errors when you're setting this up, um, try to have a little bit of patience. And um, so let's see if I, run into an error. And there's a secret key. And here's the access key. Connect. Okay, so uh, I was talking and why, because I was talking for so long, uh, obviously it seemed that the um, secret key or the key was actually activated. So um, this is good. So let's click on my website. Let's see if it works. actually works, Oracle. Here I can also get an error here, still if the, uh, if the secret key didn't activate, it didn't have enough time to activate probably. So let me select client, yes, bar. Okay, so I can see my bucket. So it seems that I actually, it actually did activate. So if you did everything correct with the connectivity, then you jump over here and you get an error uh, and you don't see any buckets here, it could also be because you simply didn't wait enough time uh, after you created your secret key and your access key. So yeah, I'm, I'm just saying again, 
it, uh, you can see you can read this anywhere. It's just based on my experience that it works a little bit slow. The Oracle Cloud integration. So I create a new bucket, new test bucket x Oracle at, and I upload. And the upload was successful. You can actually see that uh, the URL has the namespace. Namespace was this guy here. It's a part of the, the namespace is actually part of the URL here. And then you can see new test bucket, Jax Oracle. That's the, uh, that's the name of the, the folder. Um, yeah. So the thing is with Oracle, this is very, very special. This is the only cloud that works like this. When you click this guy here, you get this error. And this is uh, because the bucket is private. So what you need to do is you need to go over to Oracle again, click on uh, on this menu item here, the burger menu, click on buckets. And I just created the bucket, new test bucket, Jax Oracle, and you can see it's private. So you need to click on the three dots over here, edit visibility, public save changes so now it's public so if i refresh here now i can see my beautiful wonderful test page so if i inspect in mangools i can see that it has do, 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 da67 pa34 so this is extremely special with oracle cloud first of all we have four fields we need to consider to uh, to fill in actually and then we have the uh, the the thing with the buckets is that they by default they're private and uh, it's not we've been in, in communication with Oracle and uh, their development team and it's simply not possible in the API to actually set bucket uh, policy to to public so you need simply when you create a, when you create buckets for Oracle cloud inside of Yax you need to jump over and uh, to, to, to find it here go over here edit visibility and set it to public because otherwise uh, nobody will be able to actually see your websites uh, and this is obviously what you buy you are building them in order for people to actually see them and visit them and for google to see them so uh, yeah this has been uh, the uh, integration video for oracle a little bit longer than the other guys the other videos but uh, also a little bit more difficult um, and um, many possibilities for errors in this setup. So when you're setting, when you're integrating your Oracle cloud, please try to have some patience, you know, create the key, wait a minute or two minutes, five minutes, then go over to Yax and then um, integrate it. Then I think that you will minimize your errors. So uh, this has been it for this video and uh, take care and have a nice day.